Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on solving algebraic equations and sim simplifying expressions from a past IGCSE uh, higher tier exam uh, paper, therefore suitable for higher tier GCSE mathematics and also for high, high school algebra. Now, here we go. And it says solve the equations 4x minus 7 is equal to 8 minus 2x. And then uh, x minus 7 over 3 is equal to 2. Simplifying expressions 3xy to the y to the power 4 all to the power uh, 3. And the next one says uh, 16a to the power 6b squared all raised to the power of a half. And the third one, uh, x squared minus 7x minus 8 divided by x squared minus 64. Okay. Now for the first one, now 4x minus 7 is equal to 8 minus 2x. Now what to do here, we want to eliminate the, the 2x on the right hand side and minus 7 on the left hand side. So we then add 2x plus 7 to both sides. Now, on the right hand side, the 2x is to cancel out. On the left hand side, the 7s will cancel out. So we'll end up with 6x is equal to 15. And if we then divide both sides by 6, we end up with x is equal to 15 over, 15 over 6. And if you divide 15 by 3, you get 5. If you divide 6 by 3, you get 2 there. So x is equal to 5 over 2. Now, can you go back and check? By substituting x equal to 5 over 2 to both sides of this first equation here. And hopefully, you find that the left hand side has got the same value as the right hand side. Now for this one here, we need to eliminate, eliminate 3 there. So if we multiply both sides by 3, we end up with uh, x minus 7 over 3 times 3 is equal to 2 times 3. So the on the, on the left hand side, the threes will cancel out, and we then end up with x minus seven is equal to six. And if we then add seven to both sides, end up with x is equal to thirteen. Now, if we then substitute x equal to thirteen as before into this equation here. We find that the, the left hand side has got the same value as the right hand side. Hope that makes sense. Now, for simplifying the expressions, okay, we've got that 3xy to the power 4 all raised to the power 3 there, and by the law of indices, we multiply the indexes by what's outside the bracket there. And of course, 3q will give me 27. So x to the power 1 becomes x to the power 3. y to the power 4 becomes y to the power 12 because 4 times 3 is 12. And that's what we got there. And that is our answer. Now for the next one. We have that 16a to the power 6b squared all raised to the power half. And as I said earlier, similar, similar to saying, find the square root of what's in the bracket. Now the square root of 16 is 4. And by the law of indices, a to the power 6, 6 times a half will give me 3. And b squared, so 2 times a half will give me 1 there. So this now becomes this one here. So the answer will be 4 a cubed b to the power 1. So we don't have we don't need to have the 1 there. So that can go down over there. So the answer is 4 a cubed b is the answer. And for the last one, we have that x squared minus 7x minus 8 divided by x squared minus 64. Now, 64 we know is 8 squared. So 
the denominator then becomes x squared minus h squared. And that gives us the familiar uh, difference of two squares. So moving on there, we need to factorize the numerator as well. So we end up with uh, x minus h into x plus 1 divided by x minus h to x plus h. Difference of two squares will be this one here. Okay, that's the denominator there. So, the x minus h cancel out. And now we end up with x plus 1 divided by x plus 8. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching. And please, please subscribe. And hopefully see you again sometime. Bye-bye now.